The Order 1886 received a lot of attention when it was first announced, but after its release, nobody talks about it anymore. Trust me, there are reasons, but it honestly isn't the worst game I've played in recent years. It was developed by Ready at Dawn Studios, who are best known for their PSP classics Daxter, God of War Chains of Olympus, and God of War Ghost of Sparta, so I was pretty excited to see them work on a new original project, but sadly, it's not as original as I had hoped. The story takes place during an alternate timeline in Victorian London where an order of knights are sworn to protect the city from werewolves. It sounds like a really great idea, but that's not the main focus of the game. You only fight about 10 werewolves throughout the game while the main enemies are a group of rebels with guns. There are also two boss battles with a much stronger werewolf, but they're both pretty much the same exact thing where you're locked in this combat stance and mindlessly pressing buttons to attack and dodge. Apparently, vampires also exist in this world, but you never get to fight them, which is a missed opportunity if you ask me. And everyone else. It has an intriguing lore, I must say, and you can sometimes regenerate health by drinking Holy Grail Blackwater from a small vial around the character's neck. I do like things like that, but when you really get down to it, the involvement of supernatural elements is entirely pointless for what they contribute to the overall plot. The gameplay is, well, a third-person shooter. And if you've played any third-person shooter, then you know what to expect. Cover-based shooting, headshots, reloading, and doing it all over again. But the only thing that impresses me here is the visuals. I believe I once said that The Last of Us had the best graphics I've seen. Well, The Order 1886 comes pretty damn close. The character designs and animations are very believable, and the world is vividly detailed, right down to the smallest cobblestone step. Weapons are pretty generic, but I will say that the particle effects are honestly the best I've ever seen in gaming. Smoke fades into the air, and sparks fall very realistically. I've heard complaints that most things and people in the world couldn't be interacted with. At first I didn't think anything of it, but then I thought, yeah, this is a world that really asks to be explored and appreciated, so why can't we interact with it? When you're not in combat, you pretty much just walk around and look at an area. You can also pick up random papers and photographs and inspect them from all angles, which is cool but mostly pointless. There are a ton of cutscenes throughout, in fact two of the game's chapters are entirely cutscenes, and there are also a handful of quicktime events sprinkled in. To be fair, there is a healthy variety so I didn't get too bored with it. The story is pretty much the same old story that we've heard a million times before, where the main character named Galahad secretly teams up with the rebels and realizes the corruption of his order. The order accuses him of being a traitor and tries to sentence him to death, and it really dumbfounded me that Galahad never fully explains to them what is happening. The biggest crime is that the game is only about six hours long and ends with a really disappointing ending as if there's supposed to be expectation for a sequel. At least the game plays well for the most part. There aren't really any glitches or bugs that I've encountered, so I did enjoy myself in short bursts throughout. But outside of having outstanding visuals, it is amazing the amount of unoriginality this game has. There is no replay value. No unlockable content. No multiplayer. Wait a minute, no multiplayer? This would be the perfect time to have it. This game could have easily worked as a two or maybe even four player co-op, but as a single player experience, it was pretty dull. It had a lot of potential, so it's sad to see so much of it go to waste. I didn't get as pissed off with this game as many others did, but I still don't think it's worth checking out either.